Church, can we all say amen for the children's choir? Amen. Didn't they do a good job? Yes. Thank you, Chloe, for the introduction. As Chloe said, my name is Celine Roberts, and I just entered the eighth grade. I would like to thank Sister Wendy, Brother Steve, Sister Cassandra, Sister Tanya, Sister Nadine, and the entire Children's Ministry Department for this opportunity to speak to you on this Children's Day. I also want to thank Pastor Robinson for allowing me to speak to his congregation. I must thank my mom and dad for supporting me, encouraging me, and being strict with me throughout this process. I want to welcome those who are joining on, by online technology. Today on this Children's Day 2017, I would like to speak to you on the subject given to me, God works in land and sea and you and me. Please turn in your Bible with me to Philippians 2, verse 13. But before I read this verse, would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, even though, I know I, even though I'm young, I know you can still use me to speak your words on this children's day. Please help me by sending your Holy Spirit in this church to speak to us right now. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Philippians 2, verse 13 says, for it is God which works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Today, I want to start by reminding you that God, it was God who created everything and everyone. I'm reminding you of that because some people still don't believe it. But the Bible says in Genesis 1 verse 1, in the, in the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. Down further in the chapter, verses 26 and 27, the Bible says God created male and female in his own image. God didn't just create the land and sea and you and me. God also works with his creation. Let me start with the sea. When I think of how God works in the sea, I think about Moses and the children of Israel. You know the story, how they were blocked on the left and the right by huge mountains and with angry Pharaoh and his army behind them full speed. The children of Israel could not go left, could not go right, and they could not turn around, but they also couldn't go forward because the deep red sea was in front of them. But the Bible says in Exodus chapter 14 that God told Moses to stretch out his rod over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back with the east strong wind, and the sea was turned into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Red Sea obeyed God and separated separated. Children, the, the God we worship can speak to the sea if it means helping his people get away from Satan. God will work with the sea if it means saving us. When God speaks to the sea, the sea must listen because God made the sea. God will do whatever it takes to save us, even working with the sea. Next, I will t I, next when I think of how God works with the land, I think of how God uses the land to grow all the trees that gives us fruits and vegetables for food. Some of you like strawberries, some like papaya, some like watermelon, some like mango, others like grapes or blueberries or orange or, or bananas. Many love pineapple or just a sweet, juicy apple. Just my favorite fruit is nectarines. As far as my favorite vegetable, I'm still working on that. <laughs> Without the land, we couldn't have any of these foods. God works in the land to give us food. Also, when I think of God working in the land, it brings, me, it brings my mind to God's promise of the land flowing with milk and honey. Can I ask you a question? How many of you like milk? Milk is so good, whether it's 1%, 2%, or soy milk. It just tastes so good. Children, how many of you like Honey Nut Cheerios? Most of us do. Church, milk is good by itself, and Honey Nut Cheerios is good by itself. But when you get a bowl and put some Honey Nut Cheerios in it and then put some milk in it, it tastes almost heavenly. So God knows what he was talking about when he described the land, promised land as flowing with milk and honey. I have another question for you. If the earthy milk and honey taste so good, don't you think the heavenly milk and honey will taste even better? I have tasted earthy milk and honey, 
but I want to go to he the heavenly land to taste the heavenly milk and honey. What about you? I'm thankful God used the land to tell us how good heaven will taste. In our scripture reading, Philippians 2, verse 13, the Bible says, for it is God which worketh in you both to, w both to will and to do his good pleasures. I want to remind you today that God is willing to work in us, but we have to first let him in. We have to let him in. If you had a pipe at home that was leaking and causing your bathroom and your kitchen, your bedroom, your living room, and even your neighbor's apartment to flood, wouldn't you call a plumber? We all would. When the plumber knocked on the door, would you let him in? Well, I want to tell you today that we all have some leaks in our lives, all of us. The only way to stop those leaks is to let Jesus in. We, we all have a sin leak in our life. For some, it's not sharing. For some, it's not listening to mom and dad or grown-ups. For some, it's, for some reason, it's fighting. For others, it's just being prideful or talking about another person. Whatever the sin leak is, the only way to stop the leak is to let Jesus in so he could fix it. As children and adults, if Jesus is not working through us, the problem is we haven't let him in. Children and adults, just like a good plumber, knows how to fix a leak. Jesus knows how to fix our sin leaks. Can I share with you three ways Jesus works in us to do his good pleasures when we let him in? When you and I first let Jesus in, the first thing he does is he begins to work on our hearts so we can begin to think and be more like him, so we can become a better person. Church is important for, for children and adults to let Jesus in our heart so he can change the way we think and act. If we are not thinking and acting like Jesus, then who are we thinking and acting like? The way you let Jesus in is by praying and asking him to come in. No boy or girl who prays and asks Jesus to come in will hear no, but instead they will hear a yes, I will come into your heart. Once Jesus begins to change you, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 12, therefore if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. God works in us to change our old behaviors and makes all things new. Jesus wants to come into our, heart, our hearts and work on our hearts and make us new. After God comes into our hearts and works on us individually, God then wants us to work together for him. The Bible says that church is, is like a human body. Each part has a different role to play. Our hands can't do what the eyes are supposed to do. The mouth can't do what the ears are supposed to do. But a problem can occur if a body part won't work or if it wants to do the job another body part wants to do. If the feet got mad at the stomach, so as a result, the feet not liking the stomach, they, would, they won't walk to the kitchen and get some food because the food would make the stomach happy. So the feet decides to sit there all day and not move and go to get the food because they hate the stomach. Not only will the stomach suffer, but so will the feet and every other part of the body. What if the heart decides to, it wanted to be the mouth because when the mouth sings, it gets a lot of attention and people even clap for it. So the heart says, I want all the attention the mouth is getting because no one sees me. So the heart leaves its function and tries to become a mouth. That would be a major problem. So Jesus wants, to work in, Jesus wants us to work together. If the foot cuts off the stomach, the entire body suffers. And if the heart wants to be the mouth, the entire body suffers. Jesus wants us to work together. When God works in you and me, he gives us the work to do. Every child in this church today, we have a work to do. As children, God can use us to do his work. Children, we can tell our friends at school and th the things we learned in Sabbath school and at church. Telling our friends and neighbors about Jesus is not just for adults, it's also for children. As children, God wants us to help those who are less fortunate than us by sharing with them. As children of God, we should look for other kids and share with them. God gave us Get God gave to us so we can give others who don't have. Whenever we do something good for someone, we are doing God's work. God has given all of us an important work to do.
Did you hear the story about Jessica? Jessica's mom gave her a list of cell phone, email, or Facebook address for, of all her older brother's friends. Mom told Jessica we are having a big secret 18th party for her, for her brother, and I'm busy with making other plans, so I need you to contact all of your brother's friends and secretly invite them to his birthday party, which was three weeks away. Jessica took the list from her mom and put it on her counter. And every time she sees the list, she said, I'll do it tomorrow. A few days passed and Jessica has been having so much fun with her friends, she forgot to do the, to, about the list. On the day of the party, no one showed up because they didn't know. God is throwing a big party for uh, his son and our older brother, Jesus. And God has asked us, uh, asked us to tell everyone to attend this big party. Our work as children of God is to tell everyone that God is having a party for Jesus not too long from now and you're all invited. If we don't work if we don't do the work God has asked us to do, how will the party for Jesus be filled with guests? God has a work for us to do. Today I want to say to you, Jesus wants to first work in us. Then Jesus wants us to work together and Jesus has a work for all of us to do for him. Jesus wants, us to, Jesus wants to work in us, with us, and through us. Today, I want to say to every boy and every girl, every man and every woman, let Jesus in. Church, even though I'm not a pastor, today I want to make an appeal to every boy and every girl, and even the adults. This is my appeal. If you are in the church today, and you want to ask Jesus to begin to work in your heart and help you to do his work, would you stand? At this time, I would like to ask Pastor Robinson to pray for the children. Lord, you work on land, you work in sea, but you work in me. You work in each of us. Do a work in us that psychologists can't do, that teachers can't do, that pastors can't do. And when you are through working on us, Lord, may we come forth like pure gold. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.